G'day, my name is Peter Fritz. I've been shooting for around about 40 years, and I'm about to give you five very good reasons to go out and buy high quality camera gear. No need to check with your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend. And the first one is one that you've probably heard a million times, and that is if you buy cheap, you buy twice. Say you want to go and get yourself a 70 to 200. You want to start shooting at the long end in landscape, something that I highly recommend. But you're not really committed to it just yet. You just want to give it a bit of a go. So you go out and buy an F5.6 to F6.3 off-brand lens, and you think, yeah, this is good. This is nice. I'm glad I you know, had a crack at this. But now I think I want a really good one. I want a decent one. I want an on-brand one that matches the brand of my camera and something a bit faster, something a bit better quality. So what do you got to do? You got to sell the old crappy one, of course, before you can go out and buy the new one. Trouble is, the one that you bought is not that desirable and you sell it for a loss. Now you got to also go out and buy the decent one. So you spent whatever the good one costs, plus whatever money you lost on the crap one. Would have been cheaper just to buy the good one in the first place. Second reason is, when you buy good quality equipment, it brings more joy to the use of that equipment. Everything feels better. The tactile quality of a mechanical item, whether it's a camera, a tripod, uh, a lens, or it's the performance quality of, say, a good microphone, you appreciate it the moment you start using it. Everything that moves on it, all the tactile elements feel like they're machined with smaller tolerances. There's no sloppiness in the construction. It feels more substantial in your hand. Everything feels better. And of course, it performs better. You get a high quality camera with a high quality sensor, a, a good lens with fast glass made by a quality manufacturer. You experience the joy of that immediately. You see the results immediately. The third reason is when you buy a high quality item, particularly something that has multiple functions on, on it, you begin to practice that aspect of your photography in a more deliberate fashion. You think, okay, now this device can do this and this and this. So how can I use that to get a more interesting angle to record better quality audio if that's what you're doing? Or maybe you want to shoot uh, wildlife or birds and now that I have this higher frame rate, how can that change which species of birds I go after to photograph? It could be now that I have a camera body with more dynamic range, what times of day, what kinds of subjects can I reacquaint myself with that I wasn't able to in the past because I was limited by the equipment that I have? Because it tends to function at a higher level of performance than inferior quality gear, it opens up opportunities for you to be more deliberate about how you do your photography or your filmmaking or whatever it is that you're doing. And that leads me to the fourth reason. When you have quality equipment, you, you tend to look after it better. You tighten up and adjust the legs on your tripod because it's a quality item you want it to last. You don't allow mud and debris to, you know, sit on your lens and dry hard. You clean your lens with cleaning fluid and a proper lens cloth rather than the back of your t-shirt. And that leads to the final benefit of having high quality gear. There is often an element of scarcity as well, so that when it comes time to sell it, you're gonna lose far less money than if you were to buy its cheaper alternative. I've changed my gear more times than I've changed my underwear especially lenses. I'm always changing lenses. I just love lenses, but I never keep all of them. If I find that I'm not using it very much anymore, I'll sell it for another lens that I think I am going to use a lot more. When you have a high quality piece of equipment that is scarce, like say the Fujifilm X100B that I owned that I sold recently, it wasn't difficult to find a buyer at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure I sold that for close to what I paid for it, maybe even a bit more than I paid for it. There was no trouble selling that at all, even though that is a niche market camera. Go and buy yourself something decent. Enjoy the use of it. Experiment with it. Explore what you can do with something that has capabilities beyond what the cheap stuff has. Take good care of it, and then when the time comes, you'll be able to sell it for a decent price, maybe even what you paid for it. We work our butts off, we love our photography, so that, in my book, is reason enough to go out and buy decent quality gear. If you want to justify it to yourself, add in the other financial reasons that we've covered in this video and you can go out and do it guilt-free. For a bit of inspiration, this video on the left is about one of the best lenses I've ever owned, the Canon RF 24-72.8, and on the right, a video about three of the best tripods I've ever owned. See ya!